Hello, everybody. So, uh, this is live with Carla Nicole. Of course, I'm a little late, but I'm the executive producer, so I can be that on <laughs> my own show, baby. So, um, listen, uh, I want to welcome everybody. This is Carla Nicole. I'm a wisdom coach, and I am um, basically wanting to talk about, or really, I have been mainly focused on um, how do we manifest in our life what we want what we desire how do we do that how do we manifest in our life that's vital right so um because i'm friends with this guy right here if you don't know him it's satori seals um and he and i were just having a discussion recently and he happened to mention that um he was talking about uh manifesting and i'm like are you serious he's like what oh <laughs> you do know i'm doing a series on manifestation right I say, get your butt over here. I need you to talk about, you know, <laughs> what's going on um, with how to manifest. Um, just a little background about Satori Seals. If you don't know him, please make sure to friend request him. Um, he is a wisdom coach as well. He might be a little better than me, but we won't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> He's a metaphysician. He's an energy body worker. I can go on and on with the list of talents that this man does and has. But outside of that, um, he was willing to, um, you know, take his time out to talk to my followers and his followers um, about manifesting. Um, being a manifester is not easy. It is a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of ambition. It takes a lot of diligence, discipline. We know about discipline, don't we? <laughs> so it takes a lot just to manifest um, what you so desire. So with that said, um, I definitely wanted to bring him on because he is manifesting what he desires. Um, and he can definitely give us some keys on how to do that. So um, everybody, I want to... Um, Introduce the Tory Seals. So here he is, here he is, here he is. <laughs> Simple. But anyway, <laughs> hey, Satori, welcome to my show. What's good, everybody? What's good, Carla Nicole? And everybody, kind of, you know, my business page. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi, guys. Um, so I guess it's kind of loading, getting people up on there. Yes, yes, yes. You know, midday stuff. And like I said, I'm usually on at 12 noon. Was running late today, but because I'm the executive producer of this show, I can be that, and it's okay. But um, I did want to talk about manifesting um, what your hopes, what your dreams are, what your desires are. And so in order to do that, we must cultivate some real keys on how to do so. So um, why don't you go ahead and um, let us know about manifestation? What do you know about that? Um, the same thing everybody else knows about manifesting. <laughs> nah. uh, <laughs> um, the thing is this, is we all, uh, here, let's, let's start from here. We are all created beings. We're all a product from creation. We're yes. creators. That, is, that do creations. And so with that in mind, is that due to that we're creative beings means that we are manifesting or that we are, or people that are more in the metaphysical type term would say actualization. Mm -hmm. We're actualizing our life. Um, some of us, of course, are not maybe manifesting things that we desire due to a variety of circumstances, influences, upbringing, whatever it may be. But the end of the day is what doesn't change is is that we do create our life, and you know. And so I have a um, actually got a future course coming out called I Create, and also I'm affiliated with you know GLA. And one of the mantras is is you know we create our life. I create my life. Right. And we do. So manifesting at the core of it is about creating your life. It's about manifesting who you are, not what our parents said, not what images we see maybe from TV uh, or, or any type of social type of influences. Not as it inspires us, of course, you know, to give us ideas to what we're going to venture and entertain. But the end of the day is, is that, you know, um, <laughs> what's up, Monique? You see my eyes? <laughs> I've, been, I've been traveling all day. She pulled me, you know. So <laughs> Ridiculous. You know, y'all tripping. <laughs> so, um, um, the sun is, you know, but anyway, so... <laughs> So, so really manifesting, here's the thing about it is, the sad thing is, is that um, a lot of people has given up hope on themselves. 
And so it's really it's really powerful that you're talking about manifesting doing your manifesting series because um, a lot of us, you know, are older, you know, um, one and one and one of the things I'll talk about, you know, in my only your future success course, I was talking about in the intro about look back when you was in high school. You know, everybody that's on here, because a lot of us are in the growing sexy years, a lot of us are 40 plus that's really on these shows, I'm quite sure. Speak so, for yourself, I'm still 21. Well, where are you, well, okay, you're 21 <laughs> with a grown child that's graduated, I'm going to spill the beans, right? <laughs> you know, um, and, and, and the thing about it is, a lot of us had all this ambition, right? A lot of us had this uh, um, view of ourselves. And some kind of way it got derailed, right? right? Some kind of something happened along the way, the in between the desire and the end result, aka manifestation. Yes. And so it's the in between piece, and maybe that's what I want to kind of talk about is that in between piece. Because you can have all the desires all day long if you want, and it doesn't mean anything. Because if you don't know what it takes and you don't hope to, you know, to, to manifest and know what it takes to bring about the result that you need out of your life, then you, you're basically just a wisher. You're, you're going through life wishing. So manifesting right. has nothing to do with wishing. Right. And you have a lot of people that's like that, right? Yep. Also, you got a lot of people that are onlookers. You know, it's like when you start manifesting, everybody got an opinion how you should manifest. Like, oh, you should do this, do that, do that, but you won't do anything for yourself. Right. But we want to talk about the ownership piece. That's why I started out saying about that we create our life. I create my life. Right. At the end of the day, despite whatever it may be, we might have, you know, parents got divorced, whatever it may be, the end of the day, the ending factor is, mm -hmm. is that you are the sole creator in your life. You know, I'm hoping some people really chime in and start sharing this stuff because you already right. know me. I don't even, I don't even talk and coach on these type of things like no more unless I'm getting paid for it. True that. Uh, I'm just going to be real. What you it know, is. So, so this is like free game. So I hope y'all really take this stuff, man, and really think about it and, and go deeper into it. But... When we're talking about manifesting, we're talking about producing. Right. Men and women. The problem a lot of us are doing right now, we're seeking other people to produce for ourselves or to reap the production from other people. This right. is why everybody in these conversations are talking about, I want a relationship. People want relationships because they're not trying to manifest nothing. They want to, they want, they want to be a recipient of someone else manifesting. Right. Okay. And so when that is happening is you're still derailing yourself. So some of us in between phase. So I guess we should talk about the in between phase, right? So right. manifesting Number one, everybody should understand this. You create your life. You own your life. You're the sole contractor. You know, you're the one driving your own boat. Mm -hmm. Okay? Period. Right. All right? The next thing is you got to look at what your, your, your true goal really is and ask yourself the question, is it coming from the heart? Does it reflect your purpose? Right. You know, because in the, the day is all of us are trying to fashion our lives after an image. Right. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't think about that. Right. So wherever self-perception or that self-image that we hold about ourselves, hey, Nate. Mm -hmm. you know, we hold about ourselves, is going to be a thing that's actually moving us into what we're trying to actualize. So if you're trying to manifest, you have to make sure that it's something that, that you become before it manifests. Right. It has to exist in the heart yes. because we're only going to do what we care about. All day. Definitely. Try to do something that you don't care about. <laughs> all day right try to do something you don't care about right. so it comes it, it revolves around purpose right why are you here what is your contribution into the social dynamic of things right, right? some of us have broader purpose that, you know that it reaches a you know larger you know bandwidth of people some of us might be just more you know in whatever it is yeah in the community whatever it family. may be where yeah. the family whatever it may be is right. you still have a purpose Period. and your purpose is not designed from a selfless from a selfish space i mean from a selfish space right your purpose is designed to be able to share because it's an exchange it's your contribution now it doesn't mean that you're exempt from receiving the perks and the benefits from you walking in your purpose. Mm -hmm. All right. So really, so it comes down so that manifesting piece is only that, but then actually is tapping into your purpose. So what is that? Tapping into your purpose is first of all, on the on the when you switch to the metaphysical side of it, tapping into your purpose is understanding what your original intent. Everything in life is in a big intention. Yep. Life is one big decision, one big intention. Yep. Right? And so when we hone in on the attention, which is the original blueprint design of why we are here. Yep, that's right. And, that, and, and, and well, I don't know what my purpose is and stuff. Okay, that's fine. But that's, let's look at some obvious things, right? Let's do some basic deductive reasoning. What do you do well? Exactly. I remember you did, I remember you did a live on that, you yes, know? Yes, I did. And you did a little mini course on that, too. I did right? a mini yeah, course, so, yes. Yeah. So what do you do well? 
Right. What are your basic gifts? The reason why I say it is because your gifts is the piece of the puzzle that leads to what your purpose is. Period. Your purpose is never going to be separate from your gift. No. And your gift is not really going to be separate from your purpose. No. You know, it might not be the sole focus on this particular gift over here compared to here, right. but it's a part of that picture that brings you in line with the whole purpose of what you're really here to do. And I the, always say that the purpose is a puzzle. Yeah, you know, it's it a take, puzzle. It take, it it's, it's a, a puzzle once you put it together. The pieces, yeah. the pieces you have to place in in order for it to be the full picture of what your purpose is. Right. So sometimes you'll have a, a, a small understanding based upon your awakening of your gifts and learning your gifts. But does it not take a time to invest in those gifts and then the, this great, yeah. <laughs> and then it takes those investments of those gifts to actually start placing the pieces in the puzzle. And then guess what? As you continue to master the gifts and master them, you will find that they become more cultivated. And then your picture gets gets so much more clear along the way. I like that somebody said right here on your thing, it says, I do it every day, going to work and willing to hate my job, but I like to pay. And th this is good. So this, you know Perfect, what? Perfect, Nate. Thank let's, you Let's, let's hit that right that. there. So this yes. is that in-between phase. Yes. You know, um, one of the things is, you know, a lot of, I have adult children, you know, and I know, and I kind of advise, so you know, do I. you do too. <laughs> right. And one of the things is, you know, remember I took everybody and said, think about when you came out of high school. Because look at everything that you compromised for the sake of that dollar, for that the sake dollar. of that job. And do you get comfortable, right? Or yep. you make, do you make, you make, you, you make decisions inside of the provisions you had in your life at the time. Yes, yes. And then what happens is, uh, it was good, Laquita. Um, hey, and, Laquita. You know, and then what happens is, is that you begin to structure your life outside yeah. of your purpose. Right. I want everybody to understand that, you know, because a lot of us are building lives outside of our purpose. And yes. a lot of times when I, when I coach people, um, I talk about your truth or untruth. And one of the things about your untruth, you know, Carla went through that whole stuff before. Oh, you know? all day. You know what I'm saying? The Ooh. untruth is the life you built around that's not revolving around you. Right. Hey, Terry. You it know what I'm saying? It is so hard. Let me just say this really fast. It is so hard to cultivate your purpose when you're having to roll up your sleeves and understanding comprehending what your gifts are and then doing the hard work it is not easy or pretty to do the hard yeah, work you have to have a steadfast you have about, to have an yeah. understanding that it's going to take some tears some sweat some early <laughs> what we got to get up early i know i used to get up yeah, at the you crack make, of you dawn gotta make, you got you got to you got to go purpose. hard as a hard you going for that job you have to go harder for your own purpose yes Yes. Period. You know, like I tell my kids and, you know, people that I've mentored and tell them, you know, in the, the day is that job is a tool. Yes. That job is a tool to facilitate what your purpose is. Now, some of us are right. doing jobs that's in line with our purpose. Yes. And we get that. Yes. You know, yes. but, uh, yes. but the, in reality is majority of us are not. Are not. Okay. And <laughs> exactly. so, so the thing is, how do you transition? Like, like the brother uh, Nate just said on here, how do you go about doing that? Right. First of all, you have to recognize and categorize, this is my job, and this is what the pay is. But the challenge is, brother, and anyone who listen to this is, what are you doing with the pay that moves towards you? Right. Your purpose. Because as long as you got that conflict, you will never manifest right. what you're trying to do. That means you're in a wishing position. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, don't tell me wrong, I'm not picking on you, man. I'm just, just being... Just bring it because a lot of us are sitting in that position. Right. So let's think about that. So it's in between that keeps everybody from moving forward where they need to go to. The first thing is this. And ladies, I got mostly ladies on my page. And right. I, you know, I got and, mostly And, and brothers too. Yeah. So here's, 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 the, here's the main thing on both sides. Someone entertains a relationship and they begin to forfeit everything that they're about. Yes. For the sake of that relationship. Yes. And then what happens is then the thing you're supposed to be manifesting gets put to the backdrop. And then what happens is people in relationships, and then they start getting frustrated with each other because they're not manifesting because it's a part of you. Yes. So you remove a major part of you, you know, from the equation, which someone you should be entertaining should be adding to the equation right. to help what help you actualize it. Yes. Not from, from receiving, but from what y'all just, everybody's involved comes around and they bring about a production. Yes. Okay. And so. Encouragement. And that, that is big. Yeah. And that is big. If you are, if you're with someone or you're involved in a relationship or even even parents. I mean, because relationships are not just in love relationships. It, it's also being parents. You and I both know we have adult kids. So when it comes down to that, we have to still cultivate and encourage them 
to stay focused on their passion, on why they're here on the planet. Yeah, that, and that's that. a battle because they it's can battle, they, they start yes. entertaining because you got to. So here's the thing about so let's get some practicality for everybody since they're on here. So first of all, so another part of the manifestation is identify what your gifts are. If you yes. don't know what your purpose is, find out your gift. Gifts. Okay. Yes. Now, just don't start there. Your gift is a natural endowment that you have that you could do. Um, with ease or you have a natural drive and passion to do it yes so so another thing so the gift another thing is where's your natural driving interest yes so we look at your gift and let's look at your natural driving interest where's the thing that actually really interests you to make action not yes. things that interest like oh i like that you know because we got a whole bunch of stuff that keeps that you know that captivates our eyes <laughs> right. so i'm not talking about that right but what i'm talking about is the things that really interest you right things that you're passionate about and let me the, and let me say something i know i interrupt you just real quick the reason why this is vitally important when you need to know what you really truly do and what you really truly have a captivation for or really have a endowment for really enjoyment for is because once you figure out this gift and you really commit to it understand you're gonna be having a lot of time with it a lot of time with it so with that said you're spending a lot of time doing something you kind of mediocrely like or you don't really like it that much you don't care about it it's not, you you're not going to, you're not you really going to spend a lot of time wanting to be in that space with mastering that gift. So understand, again, it goes down to what do I really enjoy? What do I really like? What is it that I'm good at naturally? And then this is why I think it's so important when you're awakening those gifts is vital. Okay, go ahead. I had to put that in there. So the next thing, so you got the your interest in your gifts. So once you figure that is, then you have to invest into that. Yes. All right. And investing is not just dealing with money. But investing is talking about the sacrifice. You willing to go against the grain from everybody else's perception of you, what you think you need to do, or you trying to save a whole face with people, you know, from being a different, wherever it is. We got all kinds of, I'm going to get into all that because we, we got all kinds of things that influence us not to do. Right. Okay. I'm a doer, so I speak in the aspect of doing. Right. So, you know, of what not to do. And so, as long as you're caught up in that quagmire, um, then again, you're not going to manifest any, anything. You're just you're someone that's multi talented, multi gifted, but you're producing not a goddamn thing. Okay, <laughs> right. and, and so, um, you know, so um, so when you when you're um, so when you have that, we, you got to invest. Once you identify that, you got to you know you're going. To, you got to look at the discipline that's connected to that gift. Yes. You got to look at the discipline that's connected. To, to that gift, gift yes. and that interest that you're trying to do. I'm going to say it again. Yes. You have to look at the discipline that's connected to that gift. Let's talk about discipline real quick. Talk about, fill, fill people's minds in with what discipline really is. What is that really? What's what the best, yes. What is, so people understand, it's easy to tell people that they need to have discipline and practice it, but what is discipline to you? Discipline is being able to have a practice and be able to consistently do it. Okay. It's also being able to align a, 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 um, a series of habits because we are what we repeatedly do in life. Okay, so life is also one big habit. Right. So, so this is why people have patterns and things like that. And sometimes we don't manifest things in life because the patterns we have operating in subconsciously and consciously mm -hmm. is, is limiting us, whether it be that self-conversation. It could be that inner conversation we have. That's a pattern. Right. Right. That's a pattern. Yes. So, you know, so that pattern is, is causing you to derail your own path or your own motivation to right. go do anything. Right. You can't have motivation without action. So right. motivation without action is just motive. So we have a lot of people out here just with motive, but with no action to move what the motive is to go and move forward. So that's why you can't encourage nobody, right. you know, that doesn't have any type of motive to do. Right. Right. OK. And so discipline is that. So discipline is tapping into the, you know, the necessary habits that yields the result of what you're trying to experience and to produce. And produce. So yes. it's not any old habit because we got, again, we can have habits that's contrary, contrary to, to that. Building and so, yes. so with discipline, what I like to encourage everybody is I call it, that's a part of the formula. That's a part of the formula. So you got to figure out what the formula is and discipline is inside that formula. So that way, so these are actions, mm -hmm. all right? These are habits, and these are patterns. Action, patterns, and habits. Good, Action, patterns, good. and habits. We need Action, to mean patterns, that. and habits, okay? <laughs> yep. That you have inside that, inside a container of formula. Yes. And then what you're doing is you're acting on it. Yes. So the things you're learning from it, you're acting from it, okay? 
Then the next thing, which you got to do is add in there. So you, you're investing into this. We're still yes. talking about investing. You're investing into these things. Right. So you're investing. So someone, if someone's like, oh, I'm going to expose you to the pattern, the actions, or the habit, you got to invest. Some people might just want to school you up and just teach you. Mm -hmm. You might have to become a student. A student, yes. And this is what, and let me tell you something, especially with black folk. <laughs> we don't want to be schooled up on nothing. We know everything. Right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> especially men, you know, or whatever. We, we don't want to receive from someone that can impart something into that you don't really know. No. Or can help you just actualize what's already existing inside you. Right. Okay? Um, so I, I mean, let, me, let me say this caveat real fast because I know I made a statement about people coming together. I've seen people making comments. I want to say this real quick. You can't wait on someone to share with you to manifest your dreams or visions. Right. So let me, let me just let me cancel that real fast. You got to be your own soul motivator, whether you got someone in your life or not. Right. Period. Yep. And as you are doing, mm -hmm. and as you're producing, and if someone comes along and they, and they, and they seem like they're enjoying along with the mission, with the mission right. and your mission or whatever might enjoy with theirs, or, or whether it's one, two, whatever, whatever's in part of the equation, the end of the day is you need to be producing for yourself. You create for yourself. Yes. So you're not waiting. So there's no codependency in manifestation. No. Let me say that again. Ooh, that's there's good. no codependency yes. in manifestation. No. See, no. and here's the thing about it is, right? What we're talking about right here, this is life talk. Oh, dang. All right? But here's the thing about it is, this, this probably be the less viewed. <laughs> I know. I know. This would be the less viewed thing because people have given up on themselves, on themselves because they don't yes. know how to manifest things in their life. Right. You know, I have, I have several courses out and, and you know, I've got people that enrolled in it, but one of the, you know, you would think people will go into learning how to manifest, learn how to own their future. Right. But guess what? They don't really go to that. No. People will go and entertain things about relationships. But here's the thing about what is a relationship and you can't manifest shit. <laughs> It's a dependency. My it's, dad, it's a dependency. My dad used to always yeah, tell me. See, yeah. this is the, I had a father, so my father's still in my life. He's still 80-something, and he's still, he's still parenting, even to this day. But anyway, he said to me something powerful. He said, don't be in a relationship and become a leech to your mate. Don't be sucking the life out of that mate. Basically leaning on the mate to help you be happy, help you to feel pretty, help you to do this, help you to do that. Be you in your totality. And if you want a relationship, that's fine. But a relationship doesn't make you be any more important than when you are who you are by yourself. It all has to flow. It's all about sinking. So there's another piece of it, too. So in the midst of you investing into those things, you know, the actions, patterns, and, uh, and the habits, you also have to sink. Yes. So you have to take things that's all related to what you're trying to manifest, and you have to fall in. First of all, it has to be you. You have to fall in line with the sink. That's when we started talking about the discipline piece. Because if you don't have that alignment, so discipline is pointing to the alignment. Right. All right, now, so next we're going to talk about investing to the behavioral protocols. Okay. Which is still in line with the discipline. Right. You got to understand the behaviors. Right. See, a lot of people are like, oh, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to be able to do what you do. <laughs> you got to tap into <laughs> the behavior. Right. The mind is the root to all conduct. So, so how you conduct yourself consistently, which right. is discipline, is going to determine what you're going to build experience, what you're going to yield an outcome. Understand this. Every action that we have has a train of something to blossom from it. In other words, a fruit from our action that we have. Right. So each action, each action that we do has a fruit with it. Then we have to learn the series of actions to be able to produce what we really want. Yes. So if it takes 10 certain actions to produce this, and we only get two of the actions consistently in the in in the ten. Right. Then guess what? You're going to have a low production uh, rate. You're going to have a low. I'm sorry. You're going to have a low probability to manifest, to manifest it, right. what you're trying to do. Right. All right. So the end of the day is is uh, you know, so when that happens, guess what? You're stagnant. That's right. Right. And so you have to sink and make everything revolve around. When I'm talking about sinking, now we're talking about the thinking. All right, so the aspect of sinking is you have to make decisions all around your purpose. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what your purpose is around those gifts and motivations that you're trying, you know, those things you're trying to aim for, you have to make decisions around it. And, you know, now here's the thing. Here goes the conflict. You have the unseen aspect and you have the seen aspect. Mm -hmm. The conflict is the unseen aspect of it and the seen aspect of it. And so the thing is, is, we're caught up in what is seen, 
But a lot of times what we're trying to manifest hasn't been seen yet. Yep. So so we're so we're moving and aligning ourselves with something that hasn't manifested yet, but we still have to operate and exist in what is seen. Yep. Okay. And so you have to make decisions. You're not you're not negating your responsibilities and things in this world, like what the brother put out like his job. A lot of time our a lot of time our jobs and what? Because it's basically survive. We gotta survive. So we have right. to, we know we ain't gonna eat if we don't Self -preservation. work. Self-preservation. Self-preservation. Right. So you have to we have to develop the, the the goal about ourselves, that determination, that moxie about ourselves to sit there and do the extra step. You know, so you might work eight hours, you're gonna spend the next five hours after work invested into your craft, into invested your, into your yep. gift, invested into the relationships that you need to manifest. To manifest it, yep. All right, and that's sinking. Right. That's sinking things in. Okay, right. another thing is this. You have to take, you have to take what's available to you and make it work. Okay. Most people don't manifest stuff because they don't take what's available to them to make it work. It is a puzzle. You right. have to take what's work. If all they give you, I, I use an example, if all they gave you is a pencil and a paper, what can you create with that pencil and paper? It manifests. It manifests. You got to manifest something from there. Because as you do that, then the next piece will be revealed to you. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. And so, and, and it continues to happen all of a sudden. Like, oh, well, I could do, because you manifested this from the pen and paper. Now, all of a sudden, um, you, have a, you have a Facebook account. Right. So now you go, what? You can start blogging some of your ideas and stuff out there. Oh. Turn the camera on, man. Turn the camera on. All of a sudden, then guess what? There's someone that, you know, they might be a, a literary agent or something, and they might have recognized some of your writings. You just don't All know. of a sudden, and they yeah. approach you to yeah. maybe do some writing for them. I'm just using it as a, as as a casual example. example right. Right. You know, and so you have to build. You have to take what's available to you and build in it. Yes. Despite what the resources you don't have, you have to make it happen. Sometimes all you have is your time. Man, listen. You that's know, so and, and, and that's what you have to do. Yes. And then you have to go and make it fit. So you have, to, yes. you have to make it fit. Yep. That's that sinking part. And then you go ahead and build. Yep. And so the thing about it is, unless you're doing these things, and then when you do all those things, then this is the part that it throws everybody off, is that they don't build the environments. Woo. They don't build the environments nope. to, to welcome what they desire to manifest or don't build the environments to sustain what they're expecting to be manifested. Nope. You're not building the environment to help uh, grow or to groom or to recruit the necessary resources that you need yep. to manifest, yep. you know? And so, man, this is free game, man. This is Saturday, low people, like, hey man, this, hey man, if y'all catch what I'm, I'm just trying to tell you, man. This, <laughs> this is, you know, you know, cause anyways, I'll keep that to myself, but um, environment, all right, and that's the X factor, you know, that's going to determine what we're going to manifest and then what we're not. And so as you do all those things that we just talked about, that's going to move you closer. But the thing is, you have to care about what you're set out to do. Your motivation is going to come from what you care about. Right. And so then it's not really a hard task to move in those things. And so you have to take all those things and put it together and make regular actions. Now go back to discipline. Discipline is always key. You know, mm -hmm. make, you're making regular actions and moving in, you know, moving in those directions. Right. Period. You know, to, to manifest and to create and make things happen. True. You know, we will not prosper unless we create it. We will not, quote unquote, experience our success in our own eyes unless we take action to create it. All day. It's funny. You hear a lot of people like, oh, I'm successful doing this. And a lot of people are waiting. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to wait upon. Now, there's, now, there might be a wait in terms of your opportunity, but in the meantime, you're preparing. Yes, exactly, Nate. You got to utilize what's in hand. You got to utilize exactly. Please. You got to utilize yes. what is in hand and make that work. Right. You know, and um, I remember I was out traveling. I had a brother ask me, you know, some advice. And, you know, he, he ambitious and everything. I said, maybe remind me when I was in my 20s, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was telling the same thing like this. And here's the thing about it is I told, stuff I told that brother, that brother inboxed me and was, you know, getting, he bought the books I was talking about. He was like, man, I, I'm man, doing this type of practice, man. You know, yes. da, 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 da. I say, man, you on your way. When you really, when you really start to, and sometimes all it takes is a seed, and sometimes it just takes belief in yourself and belief, and Period. and 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 when you get to the point where you believe in yourself, and you believe that you are capable, because a lot of times we say, oh yeah, I can do that, but really in our heart or in our silent 
dialogue to ourselves, we'll say all kinds of excuses why we can't produce something. Oh, I can't do it because I'm a mom. I can't do it because I got to work. I can't do it for this reason and that reason and all kinds of stuff. So what we have to start paying attention to as well, when we want to manifest something, we got to watch what we say to ourselves. Our internal dialogue is key. You can't go and try to manifest something and you are uh, a bully to yourself. Bully, bully to yourself. a bully to yourself. Bully Basically, to you're yourself. being a bully, telling yourself, you can't do that. Bully you don't even have yourself. the resources to do that. You know what? I used to cry to the spirit about certain things that I would do to try to create different videos. And the spirit would be like, I gave it to you already. So basically, I got the tools. I'm just not using it to the best Take of my ability. Yeah. So I had to go back and use the use my certain uh, different video editing. And I was like, if I cannot believe, I had the resource this whole time. And was like, oh, so that's what I need to use. There's all kinds of opportunities, but a lot of times we're, bru we're brutal to ourselves. We'll get, encourage everybody yeah, else and just be and like, that's, that's I can't do this. Yeah, that's the environment. Yeah, that's, the that's, environment the in internal, here, the, in your the mind. The first environment is the internal environment. In your mind, Here's yes. another thing I'm going to add before I know we're going to close, but um, here's another piece about manifesting too. And a lot of people miss this, so this is free game. Simplify your life. Facts. Okay, I'm going to add another piece. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Simplify your life, and then you have to be available for what you're trying to experience and manifest. And manifest, yep. If you do not simplify your life, most people, when opportunities or when resources come in, they, they complicate their path. Because why? They think they arrived or whatever, you know, whatever distraction they have, I different things. <laughs> and it comes from what? It comes from what? Lack of discipline. And All so day. and so what begins to happen is so then you had the you had things come right there, but you did not simplify. So that goes and simplification is going to the environment piece that I was mentioning. Right. Simplifying is allowing you to build the environment. Okay? Mm -hmm. So lots of people think as everybody goes in the opposite direction. When you're trying to manifest do, and do different things, you have to simplify things around for the opportunity that you're trying to make yourself available for. Yes. Okay? And so um, let me say this. Anyone's really serious and they want to kind of, you know, have a blueprint of some of the things I'm sharing right now, you know, I have an existing course called Owning Your Future Success. You know, once you... Make sure you put the link in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put that in here after. We're yeah. gonna add the link here so you yeah. can you can you need to enroll in this course um, because owning your future success is vitally important to manifestation. You can't manifest if you can't own it. Period. And then there's a future course. I'm coming. I'm gonna do um, some mini series, but I got another future course called I Create. Mm -hmm. And I Create is basically gonna lay out the whole blueprint. If you get I create and own your future success, but here's the thing about it, and let me just be very frank. If you're interested in these courses, but you're not trying to act on it, it's not going to make sense to you. Yeah. You but know, see, most of it's viewers, so simple. It's see, so simple. Well, here the, here's the thing. Most of the viewers on this course right here, I already told them. You, you, this, is the, this, my, this series, Manifestation Series, isn't for people that aren't willing to do the work. Yeah, you got to, you got to, you got to be doing. You got to you do the work. To, you have to put to practice, and that's oh, not, yeah. and that's nothing. And we'll both say that right now too. <laughs> also, to another part where people don't manifest is they fail to act on what they know. Mm -hmm. Got to do the work. You have to put into practice what you know, and you have to test what you think you know through the practice to see if the result that you're expecting is manifesting what it is and the result is not manifesting what it needs then you got to go and inspect yourself and your belief and your reliance upon that belief and up you know and extract it because like yo it's not working because it does not conjoin with what you're trying to manifest right you know and so and that's another part that got people mm -hmm. you know they, they locked into belief and yeah. they stay stuck there and don't and they don't uproot it because they're still trying to operate with something i like to say they operate off of yesterday's bread you eating stole, you eating, eating stale bread. Stale bread. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and, and instead of just going to the store and buy your new loaf. Okay? Um, you ain't gonna have it in the refrigerator for so long. You know what I'm saying? Right. After a while, if you don't have to eat in a certain period of time, <laughs> it's, still it, it's exhausted, yeah. right? So it, it's, it's done. And that's what it is, you know. So a lot of times we have to, only things you have to really do, um, but you know, all, all just aside is, is that there is a knowledge piece that's associated with you trying to manifest. And not just knowledge standing on its own, 
you want to tap into the intelligence of the knowledge. Yes. Which means it's applied. It's applied. You have to tap into the applied knowledge. Yes. A lot of, we, we in the information age, there's a lot of knowledge. Oh, but yeah. a lot of this knowledge we have is not leading us anywhere. Right. It actually just causes more confusion. Why? Because we're not, because it, it's not that much intelligence yes. being presented out there. It's a lot of knowledge being presented out there, but right. it's not a lot of intelligence. So we have knowledge detached from application. And so right. that's what you want to tap into. Yep. And so as you do that and you develop a diet mm -hmm. and a discipline yep. to entertain those things, and then you start trying to work it and test it by, you know, trial and error, you know, doing beta tests of how you're thinking and all the other kind of mm -hmm. stuff. It's, it's, it's a work. It's a work. It's a work. But, people but it's don't... a work. If you, if you tap into something that you truly enjoy, you truly know that it's a part of you and you just love doing it. Because it just comes natural. It comes it's a part natural of your too. nature. Yeah. It's a part of you. You really will never tire of doing the work because it's not work. It's something that is a part of you. Right. You know. So for me, like I talk about all the time, is on my on my show. I talk about all the time. Like my gift is poetry. True. It's poetry. I could write a poem right now, and then you know just walk away. Like it's just effortless for me. So that's a part of my. That's a part of my being. However, it's not my purpose. It's just a part of my being. It's a it's part a of gift, my gift. It's a part of the picture that is pointed. Your that has pointed yes. me to what I'm doing now. I have done plays. I have created courses. I have helped. Uh, I mean, a mass of people that inbox me about stuff going on with them and how they're hurt and I, how I can help heal them. I have done body work on people. I have done so many other things besides poetry. But poetry was the pointer to my purpose. Man, see, look, they. <laughs> and, you know, so, and here's saying. the thing I know because so check this out so a lot of and here's the thing about it man I'm blessed to be able to travel the country you know because yeah, um, we cool like that you know I just flew back in from Chicago but I'm, I'm mentioning this not to brag but I'm mentioning this so people understand is everything I'm saying I'm speaking to you from practice I'm not speaking to you from theory mm -hmm. so a lot of people are entertaining a lot of people giving information and it doesn't lead them anywhere. I am trying to give you the info. I'm trying to tell you what time it is. Because if you're coming from the grassroots, mm -hmm. like most of us are, right. these are the things you have to really look at and entertain and have to grind in and implement and, and incorporate in where you're, where you're motivated to do. Um, but understand, being able to do, you know, the brands, you know, that are created, you know, saying the, you know, the herbal, you know, herbal product lines and mm -hmm. the, the, the code, all the different things I'm against, all that stuff. But <laughs> all of that, of stuff, you know. yeah, man. But, <laughs> but all that, all that come from what I just shared here. Right. And that's why I said earlier, when trying to be funny, like I don't even talk about these things, let's just, you know, let's just being compensated because at the end of the day is if you don't put no value on something, people ain't gonna, they ain't gonna value it. You know, no. and, 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 you know, and, you know, and there was times where I would share this stuff for free. And I would see people struggling in their life and you gave them the answer. But because they don't have the discipline, the diet to entertain the formula and they don't want to, they don't want to tap into the applied knowledge. They fell to what? Deaf ears. Yeah. And they don't want to make it happen. <laughs> no. and, then you, and then they become onlookers and look at other people. Then they get jealous of other people and they become the haters. You know what I'm all saying? All day. Or whatever. But at the end of the day is, man, you create your life. You own your life. You got to direct your life. And you have to go hard in the paint yes. after you. You have to go hard in the paint after you. I'm not saying it from a selfish space. I'm saying it from an intentional, purposeful space yes. of, of where you understand who you are and you understand when you have value, it's easy to, to connect with other people that has value. Right. Because you might have something to bring to the other table for other people and vice versa. And what starts happening is you start gaining momentum because mover and shakers recognize mover and shakers. All day. People manifesting get among people that's manifesting. Yes. Seekers find other seekers. And yes. what begins to happen is it, you start developing it, it, this this unique network that begins to happen and you begin to build your network and it can roll over to the monetary aspect i don't want to start talking wealth principles and stuff but 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 you know that's what begins to happen yeah. at the end of the day is is this is how the reason i didn't mention network network <laughs> in relation to manifesting is because unless you do the stuff i just mentioned now you forget about the network because you have no value have to no bring value to people. To bring, right. Right. So the only so so funny if I was coaching somebody, I wouldn't even talk about that because right. you don't have the value to bring to other people or people see value to partner with you. 
Right. You know, there's probably and there's a lot of people that reach out to me trying to do projects and stuff like that, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't buy into it because right. you're not bringing no value. Period. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you know, and so people, people on a lower operative level, mm -hmm. they might be offended by that, but people that's making things happen understands they that. They get it. Yeah. Right, because they understand their value, they understand the value to bring it, understand the value that goes with doing, and they also can't damage their brand. Period, because they right? have one. Because they have one, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, exactly. and so, you know, so so their brands would drive what they do. So, yeah. but nah, I, I man, I hope you know, I hope this helps your, I hope, I hope folk got blessed with this, you know what I'm saying? Well, on the Carl Nicole Live, of course. You I know, mean, but these, but you know, here page. here the here's the thing, you know, um, the manifestation series already i mean i brought two heavy hitters i had docs um Diglett, and then i have satori seals i don't bring people to my to my platform that are not already doing so these two gentlemen that i've already brought to my series of manifesting is because they are manifesting i don't even bring people on here if they're not doing the work i mean real talk and these are men that are doing work that are behind the scenes you don't see them you don't know i mean unless you are on his page you don't know all the tireless work this man is doing you have no idea and so the beautiful thing about that is he walks in humbleness but he also strides in strength but the strength comes from the discipline the strength comes from the confidence of knowing he has a value in order to have confidence of value you have to do the work you have to begin to believe in the fact that you have something on the planet to gift. We are not here forever. Like my dad tells me all the time, you're not getting out of here alive either. <laughs> I right. mean, real talk. Go ahead and try. <laughs> he said, you're not getting out of here alive either. So <laughs> understand. Go ahead and try. So understand, we have to be get busy because time is not promised. Real talk. So we have to get busy in our purpose. We have to learn what it takes to do the work. And in order to manifest, it's not about just talking and watching me or watching the, the handsome gents that I bring on here or watching the ladies, the beautiful ladies that will also be on my show. We're not here for that. We're here to cultivate purpose. And in order to cultivate purpose, we have to manifest and master our manifestations. We're not going to master them if we just sit there and say, uh-huh, mm-hmm, get glassy-eyed and not yeah, listen, and only listen and wishing and not doing the work. you got to do the work. And in doing the work, it's going to be tireless work, I'm telling you. Ask him. Ask him how many hours of sleep this man gets. Ask him. I was just saying, <laughs> you want to manifest, he's on the plane more than he's at home. So ask him, you feel what I'm saying? If you're not understanding the power of truly manifesting your dreams and your, your future gifts and what you want to do, you won't get it, man. You have to do the work. But in, outside of doing the work, you have to make sure that you are not telling yourself that you cannot do something. Those are vicious words, and those vicious yeah, words man. will kill your vision. The inner environment, the inner conversation. It will kill your vision, man. It'll kill it will your, derail you. It will derail you and kill everything that you yeah. have to give to the planet. Yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed it today. You know, we're going to get out your hair, but uh, share this video, man. Um, you know, I do this every Sunday. I was a little late today, but it's every Sunday. It's 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and right now, if you want to watch the other Manifestation Series uh other episodes hashtag manifestation series and you can watch all of the videos i've done thus far i think it's four other ones because really at this point in time we got to get busy like i said we're not all going to be here forever and if you don't already you got to pass something on to another generation you have to pass it on you know Period. yes you know you and if you have on. not already friend requested satori sills be sure to do that Follow his page. Follow his um, stuff. We're also going to let them know about owning your future su success. Where I'm going to put the link on here so you can get to his course and, and enroll today. Um, and he will be doing another uh, course called I Create. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. And, and if, um, they can download my app to yes. get there to the courses. Yes. Um, as well, too. So we'll put the link there. But if you download yes. Satori Seals Wisdom app, you spell my name as S A T. O R I Seals S E A L S Wisdom app. If you download that, if you're interested into the energy body work and things like that, you know, there's an itinerary on there when I'm traveling the country. If I'm near your city, if I'm in the radius of you, you know, where you can get out to me, you can book on there. Just click book. The team will send you a single email about, you know, email back to you. Um, 
But if you're interested in other different works, you know, and different products that I have, um, you know, like the herbal, you know, we have herbal alternative um, herbal solutions for people to help yeah. them out with their lives. Um, Pretty it's much. right there on the app <laughs> as well, too. So Tori Seals Wisdom app, you know, um, I'm all about, you know, holistic empowerment, man. And, and uh, but we got to get our thoughts right. And so get our motivation right. And so if you get, there's also some free courses. If they choose to, is an option, you know, called Love is Forgiveness and Love is Growth. We've got another one going to come called Love is Freedom. And so that's part of the Love series. But if you go on my app up under Wisdom Course, you can see Owning Your Future Success. Put it like this, if you're not interested in your success yourself, I'm quite sure you got kids, nieces and nephews or something, or somebody that, that's young and ambitious when they come out of high school, like I was talking about, that has that fire a little bit, mm -hmm. and they need a little bit of guidance. You need to go ahead and get that course and gift them into that yes. if you're not going to do anything with it. you know. But the thing is, is is there for you. And the thing is, it's never too late to try to manifest who you really are, man. Oh, never too late. It's never too late. Ever. You know, matter of fact, matter of fact, most of your uh, influential uh, men, this is cool. This is a cool discussion. So just when people hitting their stride, man, you know, just, just whatever it is, you got to take courage, man, and courage in yourself to do what you need to do and manifest. But you got to get something in here. All day. You got to get, you got to be, you got to have it here. Absolutely. If you don't care about it, you're not going to manifest nothing. Nope. At all. So we're out of here, guys. I appreciate everybody being on here. Like I said, make sure to share this video. It's vitally important that other people. Um, I'm thank y'all for chiming in. I'm going to hop off of here as well, too. So this is one of my great friends, uh, Carl Nicole. So check her out on her page. Um, her coaching page is, uh, was it 